the GBD H2000. It's Casio. It's G-Shock. It's the G-Shock Move. Thinner, smaller, lighter. One of the greatest do-it-all watches, complete with function, good looks, and healthy lifestyle features. Solar power, dual charging system, Bluetooth connectivity, multi-band, five satellite GPS, absolute toughness. G-Shock Move is next level toughness, built with dual layered case frame with eco-friendly corn-based biomass plastic, making it lighter, but no sacrificing for the durability. When you want that one watch that can do it all, Casio G-Shock Move can track everything you do and promote a healthy lifestyle. Casio has partnered with Polar Technologies. They've been around in the heart rate tracking business for over 50 years. It's tough, it's attractive and impressive how light it is. Out of the box, strap and all, we're looking at 61 grams. You have to have a feel for it to believe it. It blows its predecessor, the H1000, out of the water. It's a motivator, a full package that can inspire you to be better, live healthier and be active and stay active. The multi-function sport profile and lifestyle watch for all your needs. The ability to track your everyday extracurricular activities and healthy living movements. So much tech, so many features, so much functionality. Polar algorithms built into this G-Shock can monitor heart rate zone, cardio activity, running performance, workout analysis, blood oxygen levels, step movement, it even has time to move notifications to promoting that healthy lifestyle. So get up from your computer, take a break, walk around, get some steps in. There are also tracking capabilities of world time, stopwatch, timer, altimeter, barometer, thermometer, and compass, and an almanac for your sunrise and sunset feature with moon phase. And we're just getting warmed up. The activity tracker is awesome and the Casio G-Shock Move is ready for your on-the-go activities such as running, trail running, walking, pool swimming, open water swimming, biking, gym workouts and she can assist you with an interval timer as well for your workouts. It can charge with a rechargeable lithium-ion battery with solar power charge option as well, a dual connect capability. The battery can last approximately seven days to two months, depending on how many features are being used. Not to mention, with the solar power, you're looking at well over eight months to two years of a power reserve. Now, of course, that could be greatly impacted depending on how much of the features you use, including the heart rate monitor and some of the GPS functions. Now, there's six sensors built into this beast with the GPS and Bluetooth Connect. We have an optical sensor measuring your heart rates. We have an accelerometer, which tracks your steps dynamite, gyroscope, which detects your movements, especially with water activity. The altimeter tracks the position above or below sea level. Barometer alerts you when there's changes in barometric pressure. You can get notifications right to your device, advising you when good or bad weather could be coming. This I've seen firsthand. Compass with GPS accuracy. Negative display is not my first choice. But the MIP LCD display is the best I've seen. It's clear from all sorts of angles. 52 millimeter resin case across this tough frame with an integrated strap design. 27.5 millimeters at the lug tapering down to 19.5 millimeters at the buckle. An estimated 50 millimeter lug to lug with a 17.3 millimeter thickness. 399 US, 499 Canadian. Let's get a bird's eye view and check out these options and features firsthand. There you have it, the bird's eye view, the Casio G-Shock Move GBD H2000-1A. Gorgeous on the wrist. My wrist is just under seven and a quarter inches. As you can see, she fits real nice and you even have lots of room for larger size wrists based on the length of this strap. So let's take her off and have a closer look. 
We've already given you the case dimensions and your lug integrated design with those lug supports underneath the case of the watch and in a beautiful orange color as well. Now these assist with wrapping around the wrist when they're on the wrist to give you some added comfort. And fortunately for us as wearers, we don't have the ability to get our wrists pinched by the strap and the lug connection, which is fantastic. Now she comes with a pretty significant uh, instruction manual, which is also found on the actual app for Casio watches as well. So rather than using the G-Shock app, we actually use the Casio watches app. It is a G-Shock five button design. And based on the instruction manual, we have the buttons labeled as A, B, C, D, and E. Now I'll admit it has its complexities. I've had it for a couple of weeks now. And uh, aside from the great comfort and wear, uh, yes, you do have to get used to the functionality. Uh, utilizing all the tech with the uh, watch as well as the app. The button at the 9 o'clock position is labeled C and that's your enter button. So whenever you go to make a selection you'll be pushing the C button here, the enter. So if you scroll through and hit the mode button in its traditional location which is labeled forward, check out the stopwatch, you select with the move button or mode or your forward button and you can Press enter to utilize the stopwatch. Press it again to start and you'll see your counter starts. Now the one thing I would have liked to see is that uh, one hundredths of a second display as well. But you know what? It's a stopwatch and it's doing its job. You through what your options are. Stopwatch, timer, world time, almanac, compass, altimeter, barometer, heart rate, blood oxygen, breathing exercises, what? Cardio status, your life log, nightly recharge, and your activity log, which will give you all of the updates as far as what you've been doing throughout the day. And then lastly, your notification. And all of these widgets are listed on the nine o'clock position on the side, as you can see. To go back, you just hit the back button, and that can take you right back to your time and home screen. Your light button is up in position B and it can be set for 1.5 seconds or 5 seconds. I've chosen to go for 5 seconds. I'm in my 50s so I need that extra time to make sure I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> but this MIP Pixel LCD display is just phenomenal for negative display. Now as far as your action tracker, if you hit the enter button, that will start your action tracker and give you the options. You'll see there's widgets over on the side at the 9 o'clock position again. Once you get there, if you hit the bottom forward button or button number A, B, C, D, that'll take you through your walking, running, biking, gym workout, interval timer, pool swimming, open water swimming, trail running, walking, and running back to the start. Once again, hitting the back button in position E or your bottom right for the back, that will take you back to your time and home screen. Now as far as your settings, if you want to hold position A, down for three seconds, it brings you into your settings. Then you can scroll through for connectivity, your phone finder, time adjustment, airplane mode, and back to settings. That'll give you the option to change multiple settings in that uh, specific area. Once again, pushing the back button in position E, or your back, bottom right, takes you back to your time and home screen. Now aside from being super light, these buttons are grooved and very easy to manipulate on either side of this case. Selecting your compass, it advises you to wait for a second, and then you'll see that you are your north is going to be displayed by the arrow and the top or 12 o'clock position of the watch is always where you're facing the objective so as you can see here i have the iphone 13 pro there's the casio watches app here i will open that and just give you an insight as to how um, the watch works with the app as well if i select the watch that i have which is part of the pairing and registering information that you're going to require 
which takes about 30 minutes to 45 minutes altogether, including the proper firmware update that you're going to need to make sure that the software runs properly. But as you can see, it has an instruction manual that you can access here. And if you wanted to, you can just type in whatever feature you're trying to learn about and it'll bring you to that specific area. You have all of your activity widgets here, running, trail running, walking, etc., etc., which you can select and modify. Your life log information and training frequency information is here. You also have the ability to choose the watch face that you would like. So I've chosen position or pattern four, which also allows me to display the step movement, my daily and weekly step movement. But you can choose any number of the five different patterns that they have. And the response is quite quick. So if I wanted to choose pattern two, as I'm currently in pattern four, I would just select pattern two and then send the information to the watch. And it was that simple. You can see it's changed immediately. You also have the ability to go into your widgets and this will list all of your function features starting from time and date all the way down to the end of your notifications, which you notice was listed on the left side of the watch at the nine o'clock position, as I mentioned earlier. Now the bonus part about this is depending on which one of the features you use the most, you can then categorize these and put them in a list and modify it to your liking. But say you wanted to move your heart rate information up to the top of your display to make it e easily accessible, you would just take and hold and move that up under the stopwatch and boom, it will be under the stopwatch. If you send the information to the watch, it will then update so that once you go to check your mode settings, you'll see that blood oxygen is now second after the stopwatch. Now in the interest of keeping this video under 60 minutes, we won't go all through all of the different features and functions. That will be up to you to play with once you have yours paired and you're rocking the GBD H2000 on your wrist. But you can see we have all kinds of other options here as well as far as notification settings, heart rate settings, your nighttime breathing exercises, pressure trend information, alarms, smart alarm, time or world time synchronization, uh, phone finder, which is excellent. It actually chimes and makes a beep noise in case you misplace the iPhone 13. Let's check out the Almanac and go into the moon phase setting for a second. If you want to scroll back to see what the sunrise and sunset and moon cycle was for previous days, if you go reverse with position button A, that will let you know what the cycle and sunset and sunrise times were for yesterday and then March 29th. And then if you go forward, March 31st, as indicated on the dial, if you hit forward again, it's going to show you what the moon phase cycle is going to be for April 1st and tomorrow we're looking at a 7.03 a.m. sunrise. Well that's the basics for the GBD H2000. It takes a little time but eventually you'll get the hang of it and there's no better way to do that than to actually have hands-on and be working with the watch. That way you learn a lot quicker. $4.99 Canadian, $3.99 US. Out the door. Well with your applicable taxes as well depending on the region you are in. All the strength and durability of a G-Shock with all the functionality of a fantastic piece of technology so that you can start your healthy lifestyle, continue your healthy lifestyle with some peace of mind. The Casio G-Shock Move GBD H2000-1A. This one's mine. You got to get your own. They are tough to find. At your authorized dealers, online resources can hopefully help you out, but they're sold out on Amazon. They're sold out at Best Buy on back order and even eBay, you're looking to get them from Japan. Now I'm Ross, I'm the Covert Crow. Thanks for coming to the channel, I appreciate all the support. Do that thing, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, you'll get notified when the next video drops. I'm on Instagram, you can follow me there, at the Covert Crow, no problem. Thanks for your time. If you like the video, comment, tell me how you like the GBD H2000. Casio G-Shock Move. We'll see you on the next one.